On this winning afternoon in Big Orange Country, the Volunteers handle the business against the Missouri Tigers, 35 to 12. Um, just a great, great all-around game for Tennessee. Never really felt like it was in doubt. Uh, Garantano did the things he needed to do today to get the win. Solid day by him. Running game looked great. You know, uh, defense is defense is like I said, just getting better every single week. The defense is getting better, and you know they're gonna have to they're gonna have to step it up to an elite level next week. The whole team is really because we're taking on a, gr a good Georgia team next week. I'll have more on that in a minute, but player of the game this week. There can only be one. You know, that's going to be number 68, Cade Mays. Our offensive line just looked completely different today. They were manhandling Missouri. Like, we ran the ball. I think we had about 240 rushing yards. Just a great, great day running the ball. Jeremy Pruitt was not scared, y'all. He went for it three, four times on fourth down. Like, like, that's just what I've been wanting us to do, you know. Like, you see it a lot now in the NFL. These teams just go fourth and short. They're going for it. You know, fourth and one, we're quarterback sneaking, and that's just what I like. That's what we're going to have to do to beat Georgia next week. you got to convert these fourth downs. Third down today, we were 6 of 12. That improved. That really improved from last week. Um, so, you know, that was something that we needed to work on, and we did a lot better job of that. So, you know what, I like I said, uh, handled the business against Missouri and South Carolina, Missouri, not to take anything away from them, but at Tennessee, like we did what we were supposed to do, we beat them. The real test is going to come next week when we head to Athens, take on the Georgia Bulldogs. Still don't know what time that game is going to kick off, either 11 or 2.30. Georgia plays Auburn tonight, Uncle Lou's on here, oh, even if we lose 100 to nothing to Auburn, there's nothing to worry about. But let me tell y'all one thing. Georgia's got lots of questions at quarterback. Like, their defense is the best in the country. One of the best in the country. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say it's not. But, like I said, what are they going to do if JT Daniels comes out tonight struggles? Stetson Bennett struggles. I mean, what are they going to do? You know, they got three quarterbacks, and they don't even know who they're – like, they, they have no clue who they're going to play. They don't know who's going to get the job done for them. So, am I overly confident about next week? Yes. I think we can get the job done, honestly. And, you know, I could just be I could just be getting sucked into getting let down. But, like I said, Georgia doesn't scare me. Um, Georgia's been nothing since 1980, and that's just what it's going to continue to be for them. Like I said, you, they're never going to win another national championship. Um, and that's probably going to start tonight when they lose to Auburn. Then they're going to lose to us next week. And then they're going to lose to Alabama the week after. And they're going to be sitting 1-3 wondering what happened. But we'll have more on Georgia next week, y'all. Uh, Balls fans, just enjoy this win today. Because, you know, we're 2-0. and I mean, all you can do is win the games. You will just win the games each week. That's all you can do. You know, so we got the, we're got we tied for the longest win streak in the nation now at eight games. All, like I said, y'all can bash all you want. on. We ain't played nobody. All you can do is win the games. Just yeah, that falls on front of you on the schedule. So we gotta get we gotta get better next week. Hopefully Sean Schamberger will be back next week. We're gonna need him next week. We're gonna need Schamberger. We're gonna need to run the ball down Georgia's throat. I think it's you know JG's got JG's been playing better, but he's got he's got to play better than what he's playing. Got to be playing on the elite level. So like I said, congrats to the Big Orange. Y'all enjoy this win, and we'll talk to y'all next week as we take on 1980. Go balls, baby.